Our first journey has explored Australia, navigating the Murray Darling. All right. Sorry, mate. Traversing the Great Divide. I tell you, we're going to be fit by the time we finish this jump. Fit or dead. And straddling the top end. Can you see this being the food bowl of the nation? But now my mate Tim Flannery and I are off on a great new adventure. China. This is the way to see Shanghai, Tim. I think I'm getting a massage in my pineal gland here, John. Oh, a very heroic flourish as the flag is extended. You'll see it shortly. We're told our economic future depends on the rising red dragon. So when I look around here, I'm looking at a bit of Australia. There's a chunk of Australia in anything you can see built in the last 20 years. A superpower building cities at a rate the planet's never seen. This place here is pretty much the centre of the largest mass of humanity that has ever existed. And now we're finally starting to gain that power back. And this rise in the standard of living comes out of a hole in the ground in Australia. But where does the future lie in our relationship? To answer that, in the coming weeks, Tim and I will visit the capital, Beijing. Tell you what, Tim, it's moments like this where I feel I can really blend in. The decadent Shanghai. And how many Ferraris have you got? Three or four. Sweet, you don't know. And the booming western frontier. Chengdu, biggest building in the world. Fattest building in the world. Fattest building in the world. It's a country going like the clappers. If I was a bullet train, it'd be really like a bloody bullet we'd be doing 600. But at what cost? If they want coal, they get it in vast amounts. Yeah. And that affects the atmosphere of the whole planet. That word, bloody balance, drives me batty because there is no balance. We'll plunge headfirst into its past. Look at this. This is the tooth of a fossilised rhinoceros from China. Probably a million or more years old. He looks like he's a village idiot. Is that right? <laughs> Bloody Melbourne Cup had me on the head. <laughs> we'll find out what they know about us. Thornbirds, dear. Yeah. Someone mm. told me this book is not for academic no, research. No, it's not. And ask, should we be more than just China's quarry? So this is where we are, John, Port Hedland. And that ship down there's got about $20 million worth of iron ore on it. Way out to sea there, you can see another 30 or 40. I mean, I've had this, this, this idea for a long time now of the fork. Sorry, Tim, it's something I think would really work here. It's going to be one hell of a ride. Oh, we do Why riding a bike. You never forget how to do it. Cheers. Now, Timmy, let's fall in love.